Hello YouTube, uh, so today I wanted to talk about some of the games that people have recommended to me but I did not enjoy. So I don't want to be or I don't like to be negative on my videos but I thought I'd just you know talk about them and tell you guys why I didn't enjoy them too much. <laughs> yeah, so the first one, I think you can see it on my desk, is Nier Automata. So I did some let's play of this game, I even put the cosplay on and everything, you know, of the uh, to be. And well, one thing is that I get motion sickness quite easily, so that can be contributing to why I didn't enjoy it as much. But I did take the medicine that's supposed to make you not feel not so queasy, and it did work. But um, I don't know, I just didn't get the hang of it and I know that the story is supposed to be really good and I know that the, the soundtrack is supposed to be really good too but I guess it was just not my thing. I mean I really love the character design that's why I did the cosplay and I even have a figure pre-ordered and everything of the main character but um, I just couldn't get into the gameplay. Um, I didn't think like it was really hard or anything. I mean, you can change the difficulty anyways. And yeah, maybe if I had played it on my own before I started the let's play, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more because I feel like when I do a let's play of some 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 of the games, I feel like pressure to play and not when I really want to play. So I guess that didn't help either, so I might give it another chance when I actually do feel like playing these types of games because I usually never play like action games. Um, I like playing fighting games, I like playing uh, some platformers or dungeon crawlers and stuff like that, RPGs, puzzle, rhythm games, but I usually never play these types of games. So yeah, it's kind of... I don't know what I expected, I mean, if I don't like the genre, I just thought that maybe I would enjoy this one because it had like really good reviews and everybody was recommending it to me. But I know that the game is actually good. I'm not saying that any of these games are bad. Actually most of, I think every one of them or most of them are good because these are games that someone recommended me to play. So yeah. So don't think that um, I'm dissing on these games, it's just my preference. The next one is Moonlighter. So this game, well actually this one wasn't recommended to me by anyone in particular, but I saw it on Amazon, I read the reviews, and it sounded like a game that I would really enjoy. So you have to um, go to these dungeons that changes every time you go in, and if you die, you lose all the items that you got in there. So you have to come back out alive and sell these items in the shop, uh, or use them to craft other weapons that would make you stronger and go on and you know beat tougher enemies and get better items, more money, etc. And the concept is really nice, but I felt like it was, <laughs> I don't know, something about it was kind of like tedious. I felt like maybe if you kept a part of something that you lost, or if you didn't lose everything every time you died, or maybe if they... I don't know what it was that I didn't like. I feel like it was lacking something. Um, maybe it was the music, maybe it was just too plain. Like, there was not much to do in the town. Uh, the town or the hub is pretty small. That could be why. Um, but I did play it for a while, but I just couldn't get into it that much. So I quit playing, yeah. The next one <laughs> is Hollow Knight. So this one I knew, I had a feeling that I'm not, I was not gonna like it. I really love the character design um, of the main character. I really like how the game looks in general. It looks pretty. Uh, but um, just the type of game, the gameplay itself is not my type of game. And also I really didn't enjoy that the game is so dark all the time. Uh, I don't know what I expected and some of the enemies like well all the enemies are like insects or bugs and I just don't like bugs and insects <laughs> even if they're like cute looking it, it kind of grosses me out and I don't like playing games that grosses me out in that way uh, so yeah my husband has been playing it for a while now and he's gotten pretty far with the game and it looks like well he is he has mentioned that 
this game is one of the best games of this genre. It has lots of like really small details, like uh, when you sit down on the bench to save you and open the map, the character like takes out the map, he does the same, he walks around with the map when you're walking and when you're looking at the map and stuff. So yeah, like this game has like the really small details down and I really kind of disappointed that I didn't enjoy it or like it. But I think I would recommend this game if you like like platformers or action games, you know. But it's not easy. It doesn't, it doesn't look easy. Um, I only got to the first or the second boss and I kind of gave up. <laughs> but yeah, too bad I didn't enjoy it. The next one is Lost Fear. This is the Japanese copy. Lost Fear, it comes in like a, like a cardboard sleeve. And this was made by Tokyo, what was it, RPG, was it Tokyo RPG Factory? Which, uh, who made the I Am Setsuna and they're doing Oninaki that's coming out soon. I thought I would enjoy this because I liked I Am Setsuna so much and I Am Setsuna did not have that great of a review by everyone. It wasn't like it was the best game ever, but I really enjoyed it. I think that it was one of my uh, favorite RPGs of that time when it came out so I thought I would enjoy this one too but no uh, I got I think I'm up to the end of the story because of well, you know how the story is going <laughs> but I I don't know I just couldn't get into it I felt like the characters were kind of bland uh, the gameplay was kind of bland <laughs> the graphics were bland I didn't enjoy the be the music like I did in I am Setsuna so it was like just meh Meh. It was just okay. It's not bad or anything. It's just not worth playing over something else that you might have. So yeah, definitely an okay RPG, which kind of left me disappointed. And then the next one is this, Kirby Star Allies. This one is for the Switch. The only Kirby game out for the Switch right now. And it was, uh, I think this was the first game I got for the Switch when we first bought, bought the Switch. And um, I do love Kirby games. Uh, I played most of them, not all. The only one I didn't really enjoy was um, Epic Yarn. Is it, Kir Is it Kirby's Epic Yarn? I don't even remember the name, but you know, the one on the Wii. Um, because it was really different. But I might give it another go on the 3DS because they released the remake or the remaster or whatever you want to call it. Reboot, I don't know. But um, this one, I felt like I mean, it was fun. It's like a Kirby game, and that's it. I feel like it doesn't have anything new. Um, you can play with your friends and all that, but I don't enjoy that in some places you do have to have like three other characters following you around just to go past the next stage or just to get past this obstacle. Like, I want to be able to play by myself without the help of computers sometimes because they aren't really smart, honestly. Like, they do some stupid stuff and they get in your way. And um, another thing is that it's cute, but I feel like, it's, I don't know, it's like missing something. I really don't know what it is. I mean, it has the good music, it has the cute characters and everything. The level designs are like, you know, like the rest of the Kirby games. But I feel like something is missing like the soul <laughs> is missing i don't know what it was though i really can't explain it myself maybe it's just that i'm tired of these games but i don't think that's it mm, i feel like they could have done a little bit more like it's more of the same nothing new and the gameplay wasn't that good either so it's like another kirby game i mean it's good but it's not the best kirby game you know i mean it doesn't it definitely doesn't feel like when you when I played the Kirby Superstars or Super I think that's what it's called in English on the DS or on the Super Nintendo that game was a lot of fun even the Kirby Planet Robobot and the Triple Deluxe they were fun too like it was cute and entertaining but this one is like eh, I mean it's there right so yeah kind of disappointing and then the next one is East Memories of Celsetta. <laughs> yeah, so this I played for a while. I even have the limited edition, but this is not mine. This is my husband's copy. 
and I opened it up to play and I didn't like it. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've never, I, n I had never played the East and East game before, other than the one that plays like, you know, where you walk around the map with the sword and you stab people with. Yeah, I've never played like the 3D East game before. And I don't know, I know it's supposed to be good, but I just felt bored playing it for some reason. Um, I have no idea why, because this is supposed to be good. I don't know if the newest entry, uh, if that one is supposed to be better, please let me know so I can check it out maybe in the near future. Because like this is one of the best franchises or the best entries or the best games on the Vita and other systems and I just didn't like it. And I don't, I don't like, I feel bad. When I when somebody or when most of the people say that something is good, I feel kind of bad that I don't enjoy it as much. And also, I feel like people will think that I'm just like trying to be different, you know? Because <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't care, but it kind kind of makes me uncomfortable that I don't like the same things as most people do. But yeah, anyway. And then the last, well, no, not the last one. The last one I have here is um, Undertale. I even have the collector's edition for the Vita because I didn't think it was too expensive. I think it was like what sixty dollars or something when it when it was released. Um, I did. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it honestly, but so many people were talking about it, saying that it's like the next um, Earthbound. The characters are so original, original, and there were so many memes and pictures of the different characters going around, fun, fan arts and everything. I had to try it out, and I really didn't want to buy digital, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get the collector's edition, you know, because it looks pretty, whatnot. I just didn't get into it because, I don't know, first, I didn't like the art style, which I already knew that I, I didn't like from the moment I saw it. I wasn't sure if the gameplay was gonna be like so good or the story was gonna be so good that I wasn't gonna care about the art style or the graphics. But um, I just <laughs> couldn't get into like the character, the character design, the music. I mean, it had some interest, like the concept of how you play the battles, how you can win or like, finish the game without killing any of the enemies. I think that was very interesting. I liked that. The story I really liked too, but um, <laughs> like the last boss was creepy. Like it was one of those games that was really scary at moments. And I mean, I guess it was good, but I just didn't think that it was as good as everyone made it out to be. It was one of those cases where the hype was too big and I don't know what I expected at the end, um, but yeah. I don't think it's a good, bad game at all, I mean, but I don't think that it's one of the best RPGs, in my opinion, but yeah, um, anyways, <laughs> I feel like so many people are gonna get mad at me because it's a really popular game, you know, it has a really big fan base. but anyways, and then the last one I want to comment about is the Zelda series in general. So the first Zelda I played was the... Majora's Mask on the Nintendo 64 and I only played it a little. One of my mom's friend's son's, well my mom's friend's house, yeah. My mom's friend was teaching at the same school. She was like sent from Japan to teach Japanese and um, her sons or her kids didn't speak any Spanish so sometimes I would visit and we would play games, you know, whatever. Um, and he had the Nintendo 64 and he had Majora's Mask. So he put it on and he showed me how to play and stuff and I played a little. I don't know, I just didn't get it, get into it. I was like, what, 11 or 12 years old or something? Anyways, later on, I've tried like um, the one on the 3DS, Link Between Worlds. I tried the remake of Ocarina of Time. I even played a little, little bit of uh, Link, no, Link's Awakening, no. Um, <laughs> Wind Waker, <laughs> and what else? I think that's about it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those games I tried out, 
But the one I played the most or tried out the most was Link Between Worlds and Ocarina of Time. I tried Ocarina of Time because my husband likes those games and he bought me the remake on the 3DS. And since he was like, yeah, you should try it and whatnot, I was like, okay. And I got to the first boss, I think it was a big spider, and I just, I just quit there. Not because it scared me or anything, I just couldn't get into it. Um, and then I got Link Between Worlds for myself. I bought that game. Um, I did enjoy it for a while, but I didn't feel like it was that much fun. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was bad or anything, I just didn't get it, you know. I just didn't get why people enjoyed these games so much. Until I played Breath of the Wild. Now that game I feel like is one of the favorite games. Or I, I, it might be the favorite game I have right now on the Switch. Um, despite not enjoying other Zelda games, I really love that game. But that game I feel also is um, very different from other games. So I don't know if I should be like, oh yeah, that's the best game. It's not like I played all the games. Oops. Cat. So yeah, but... Most of the Zelda games, uh, people say it's really good. My husband plays them. I've seen him play, uh, I think it was... Twilight, no, not Twilight Princess. I can't remember the name, the other one on the Wii. <laughs> uh, I've seen him play Wind Waker. I've, uh, you know, and it, it looks interesting, but I just can't get into it. But it's probably because of the gameplay. I really want to like them, but I just can't because I guess I just, I'm just not into them. Uh, other than Breath of the Wild, I really love that game. And now that um, Link's Awakening is coming out, I'm, go I'm definitely going to play that game and give it a shot because I haven't played that one and it looks cute, which is a good start for me. I really like, the first thing I see in a game is the visuals. So if I like the visuals, that's a plus already. Uh, it's more likely that I'll enjoy the game. So yeah, if you have any games that everybody seems to enjoy but you don't, please leave them in the comments down below. And thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Say bye, cat. I don't know why she always comes around when I finish the video, but she wants to be on YouTube. YouTube! Bye!